Hi everyone, my subbies, scrappy, talented pals out there and uh, followers and you know, um, I'm coming to you today with a quick video to share um, a traveler's notebook cover that I created for my um, Christmas gift I got from Miss Angie of the um, traveler's notebook insert that she made for me. So I needed to create a cover for it. So I am going to share that with you here in a moment. And um, this isn't a scrappy happy hour because, uh, well, there's no alcohol this time. I think this is like the first video ever <laughs> that I haven't had a cocktail. But um, I'm having some tea, though, some good old strong Irish tea. And I was gifted um, this beautiful um, tea set. Let me show you the cup. It was um, my husband's mother's, and it was... Um, I inherited it from her. She had the most beautiful tea and coffee sets and things like that in, in her collection and so whenever I have some tea I love to break it all out so um, if you want to have a cocktail then by all means go ahead <laughs> but I'm gonna have some tea I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea here and uh, enjoy that while I show you the cover I made and I take a little cream and sugar in mine or a lot of cream and sugar really <laughs> so it's so fun when you get you enjoy a cup of tea you know it's three o'clock somewhere right <laughs> I love to have a cup of tea okay so cheers even in, with tea cheers <laughs> okay cheers Yum. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to push this out of the way now. So, here it is. If you guys remember um, from the video showing um, my gorgeous insert from a uh, gift, Christmas gift from Miss Angie, then um, you'll remember that there was this beautiful doily around it, which I'm still using on the outside. I think it looks really good, so I, I wanted to keep that on there, but it is removable. I didn't glue it on, I thought about it, but let me zoom in just a little bit. If I can figure out how. There we go, yay. So what I did is um, I made the cover out of this really unique leather. This is actually leather. And it's like a beige or off-white color. And I purchased this, a whole bunch of leather from Candace Scarborough at one point. So um, I've been dying to use it for things. And um, I just, um, I added this little pretty um, cameo there. And I didn't want to do too much to the front because I didn't want to take away from the beautiful insert. So I just, you know, did these metal corners, put a little bit of that, um, what's it called, you know, like rub and buff stuff on there, on those, and uh, this is really soft and it's really thick, so it's really cool. So let me go inside and, and just show you what I did. So just untie the doily. Like that. And I'm going to put a thicker elastic once I uh, go out and get one. Um, for now, this is working just fine. So, it looks like that on the side. If you remember the insert, it was beautiful. It's beautiful. It had all these charms and pom-pom. Love that, love that, love that. So, I made it with, uh, I think it has like four bands, you know, inside because um, Miss Angie told me that I'm getting an Easter present and it's gonna be another insert. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. So I plan to add it. I wanted to make enough elastics inside. Um, if it's not, this one isn't big enough, then I'll just make another one, okay? So what I did on the inside, I didn't wanna take away from the insert whatsoever. So I had this paper, I forget what the stack is, but it's kind of like gold and it kind of looks like 
fabric in a way. You can see that, but so I thought it matched and complemented that really well. So that's what I put in there. So I've made um oh I just been playing around with this. I went um, away after I received this. I went away up to Oregon to visit my family for Christmas, and I did take it with me, Angie, and I did very little writing in it, but I did write in it, and I have some memorabilia from my trip that I added to it, and I probably changed some some of the goodies around a little bit in here, but um, so inside the f first page there was this insert thing, and um, so that's what I did do a lot of writing in there, you can see that, for Christmas 2017. So you see, I'm using it. <laughs> so I did start, and I wrote in there. And yes, I think I moved some things around, but um, it's so, I've been having so much fun playing with it. It's so, oh, just love it. And I got so many compliments on the train ride uh, there and back when people saw me using it and uh, wanted to know more about it. So that was really fun too. So yes, I took this along and um, added some things to it. I put this sticker here that I got from our shop. And let's see, did I put anything in there? I don't, so this was still a cute photo. I so, had so much fun taking it with me. So, I'm getting an additional flip here. <laughs> oh yeah, and so this, if you remember, was this great bag pocket here and this beautiful tag was in there. So what I did is I stuck um, a lot of the ephemera I collected on my trip in here. And, because it's a nice big pocket in there. So we went to, um, this is in Eugene, Oregon, and we were like kind of on the university campus and there was a restaurant actually named at, like my husband's name. I mean, it's a rare name as it is, and it's spelled exactly the same. So we had to go there, and it has uh, all this history about the restaurant and uh, all the stuff in the menu and all that, so I had to keep that. And we took some pictures out front too, and once I get my um, pictures printed out, I'll be adding them in here also. So there's uh, another thing from them, Rennie's Landing. It's so funny, <laughs> we're cracking up about that. And then we also uh, met up with some friends and we went and saw this band um, up there. So that was really fun. We had a great time. They were really good. A really good blues band. So I put all this cool stuff in this pocket. So I really liked having that to do that with. So yeah. Let's see, uh, did I add anything here? No, I did um, add this. I just added this little lace and little heart dangle from there. Just playing around, and I added this um, clip paper clip here that um, Angie Bell made for me a while back. Been hanging on to it, and I thought it was just perfect for this, so I added that. Um, oh, this tag here, I accidentally ripped the ribbon through, so I, I tried to just make it look nice again, and I added this little doily and this rusty pin here from uh, A Tattered Dream. So it's all that ephemera in there. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, so... This is the train I took. It's sorry for the glare. It's the surf liner. And so that was like a baggage tag, you know, that they gave you to put on your uh, luggage. And these were my train tickets. So I saved them. And I'm storing them in my traveler's notebook insert here. Love that. So cute. Oh, and I added this little heart here, this little cutout from a die I have, and this beautiful, I love this stuff. It's like this trim stuff I got from A Tattered Dream. It's really soft and, I don't know, I just liked it. And um, rusty pins from A Tattered Dream also. I just thought it looked cute. 
So I added that to it to put a little gold in it to match the paper that I put on the inside covers. And oh yeah, this uh, I made this little pin, this little clip actually. Whoa. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you can see this. It's a little like Tim Holtz. Whoops, clip that I just dropped on the floor. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just put some um, fibers and a flower and some trim, and it's just uh, one of these clips. So I thought that matched nice and would be cute, so I added that to hold in this cool uh, payroll envelope. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, we go on here and I don't think I added much more. Um, I went and played bingo with my son's girlfriend and I won $20. <laughs> so I saved the bingo things. It was my first time ever going to bingo, believe it or not. And it was really fun, so I, I wanted to save that. And I think that's all I've added to it. Uh, yeah. And then, so what I did is I, um, I made a little booklet. I ordered some of these um, like to-do list books and they're uh, like the covers were like this craft. And um, so I had some scrapbook paper that I thought would match. And so I covered the front of it. And I, I put this beautiful tag that was on the front of um, my uh, gift from Miss Angie. I love this so much. And I had to have it in here still. So I just clipped it on with this, this clip I have. It's really like a hair thing, I think. but. I just love it. It looks so cute. And so I just uh, attached that to the front of it. And then I still have more elastics for, you know, more inserts. Maybe. I don't know. I might have to make another one. I don't know. But anyway, so I covered that booklet and I added this like uh, gold lacy trim on the edge to it. And that's the back of it. And then that's the back. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I really really like it um it feels really neat you can see that pattern on it it's really interesting so there you go there's my cover i hope you like it angie i hope you like what i did with it all and um i'm gonna get some thicker elastic here as soon as i can get out and get some and then i just put this back around it and i think it looks very cute like that. Isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness. I'm having so much fun with it. And you guys better stay tuned because in a few weeks here, um, I'll be getting, I'll be sharing with you guys some more Happy Mail. I'm getting another Traveler's Notebook insert and it's going to be in a beach theme. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't wait. She said it's one of her favorites she's ever made. Oh, so that's going to be a good video, you guys. So stay tuned for that in a few weeks. And um, yeah, so I, um, I've been working on a couple other projects. I've been working on a couple boho journals. Um, so pretty soon I'm going to be uploading another video after this showing you um, one of them I've completed. So stay tuned for that too, okay? And um, I want to thank you guys all so much for coming back and following me and, and tuning in and everything. And I just want to mention something. I've been hearing a lot of things going on on YouTube, a lot of changes and everything. And someone told me that, um, that you know, when you, su when you subscribe to people and it comes in your feed, no problem, right? Well, apparently some of that's changing around. And if you don't... Um, check the little bell thing for the notifications you may not get um, in your feed um, you know any of the videos that are new from the, the people you've subscribed to if that makes sense so you might want to check the bell um, on everyone's videos that you like that you you know 
that you're subscribed to, just make sure you have that notification bell checked so you are sure not to miss anyone's videos. So I just wanted to mention that too. I'm going to be looking into that more and I'll let you know if I find out anything else. But uh, so far that's what I've found out. I don't know what they're doing now. YouTube and Google, you know. <laughs> but um, I'm grateful that for YouTube, but um, I don't understand a lot of their changes sometimes. So anyways, I'm going to cut this short here, and I hope you guys like this, and let me know what you think, and um, I think I'm going to make more of them, I, you know, it was pretty easy, and it seems pretty durable, and uh, yeah, so let me know what you think, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye.